Hey everyone, Edgy Berserker here with Sketchbook Talk. I had to record the audio prior, but I'm showing off the sketches I did in my book using the core uh, watercolor ground on the left side and the core uh, cold press watercolor ground on the wait left right yeah right side for Dio left side for uh, Jonathan Joestar. I wanted to do some JoJo stuff and uh, you know, sketchbooks are fun to experiment in. Uh, this is a Lichtenchurn. I'm gonna probably say that wrong. Just uh, dotted notebook. That's all I'm using for my sketchbook. It literally is my experimental idea thing. I I have some good artwork in it, but uh, most of the time I was just plan it out for an even better artwork, basically. And I'm using the Zig, uh, the Kurataki uh, Real Brush Zig pens. Uh, they're like watercolor concentrated in like an actual brush marker. Like the marker itself is actually literally brush, which is pretty cool. Uh, and I, I decided I'm going to try uh, the uh, technique of coloring first, then inking. And uh, note, uh, I mentioned it in the outro, but <laughs> I'm going to state this now. I wish I filled my one pen up with the Waterproof India ink and inked first, then did this. Uh, because uh, what's not mentioned, because this happens later after uh, things got more dried and that on my page after I was done recording, the black outline I used feathered out pretty badly. <laughs> But here I am, I, I kind of figured out a technique with these that works best for me. I feel like though, when I do an official watercolor talk of this one, I'm gonna use the hot press paper because I feel like the smoothness will help push the color around. Like, you know how I said with the uh, watercolor pencils on pushing the color around? I feel like that's gonna help with it. But yeah, basically though, what, in my sketchbook here, I like to experiment and watercolor ground is something I've been fascinated with because you can literally use it on like an well on most like surfaces and turn it into watercolor and um, I've been practicing a lot with just the regular water color ground and then I recently got the cold press one which is the more well you can even see on the left there that is very textured <laughs> I also got a Mars black uh, Daniel Smith one and I think I want to try their uh, regular white version as well because I admit, I think I like the texture better on that one, but I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I have to do more experiments. Um, I'll be showing later though that I have used like the uh, watercolor ground with my uh, nicer watercolors and they work great. So uh, yeah, um, it's definitely more like just like learning, you know, techniques and that. I feel like one thing I should have done when doing this, and again, this all comes from practicing in a sketchbook and learning, um, I should have just let it dry more. Like, uh, when I was done, like, coloring, I should have just actually recorded the final part, like, the outline part for both, uh, the next day, just so then it guaranteed everything dried before I, uh, set it on. But, you know, you live and you learn. Um, and the black pen, you can kind of see it on the desk there on the left right before that cut. <laughs> But yeah, I find that with these, you just kind of like set down the color that you need, like just lightly outlined so you can have like where you want the darkest spot. Then you just let it spread out and you can add more colors to it as well. Um, there's techniques where you can put it like on the wet paper. I haven't done that yet. And another one was actually dipping the pen itself in water, making it very watery. Um, I haven't done that either because these are very concentrated in the color. <laughs> I, I know I'm talking, it's kind of, I guess this is sketchbook talk slash watercolor talk talk in the same thing, but I put this more under sketchbook though. Because <laughs> again, this is more experimental, not actually trying to make a very nice piece of art. This is more the process of that, where you just practice, just fucks around. Use your sketchbook, like, um, you know, if you want to do aesthetic, that's cool. I, I you know I get into this in the outro, but... I gotta say though, uh, sketchbooks, just use it also, like, it, just as long as the paper doesn't get, like, you know, put to waste and just sitting there blank in a cupboard forever, you have to wait for the perfect artwork to do, just use it to futz around like this, you know, just experiment. Um, I'm using, like, a, well, watercolor ground has been a new material for me. I'm very fascinated by how it can turn, like, most things into watercolor paper. It's really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I've even, uh, 
played around with just so uh that one um i want to do a video on because i have a, i did an experiment in a coloring book and i was happy with the experiment results that i think we're gonna do some gouache paintings because i use the gesso to uh make it a nice little surface for me to do gouache on so uh you know that, that's in the pipeline i have a lot of ideas um january man january was like uh one of those things where i guess you just recover from the holiday like uh blahs I, don't, I believe I did not make a video in February at all because just things were just not like meshing time-wise for some reason. Like I'm glad I was able to get this before March ended. Um, and I'm glad like I, I, I'm glad to know I can use the community post here as well just to say, hey guys, just to let you know, um, I'm not dead. <laughs> I didn't forget about this channel. I just uh, didn't have time. But I had time, and um, I'm going to make time better again because uh, I got to kind of get into like the groove of things because I swear, December always throws me off. So I'm very happy to kind of get a groove back, you know. Plus at work, I've been like, um, not at work, um, I'm at a new spot at work, and I got to get up early now. And, you know, upon watching this video, <laughs> totally something changed. I didn't realize how juicy that black pen is, so no wonder it feathered out. <laughs> of course, now we're on to the Dio side, and this is more of the rougher texture. And as you can see, it's a little harder to get the color on. <laughs> but, you know, it still worked all the same, though. It was just one of those, like, again, experimenting. I have to do more with the uh, watercolor ground, like the uh, cold press stuff, because that one's a little trickier. I almost want to put it on a piece of cardboard and see how it uses to that, you know? I don't know. It's just something making a... Mm, I'm missing something, but I don't know what. Uh, but yeah, like, uh, these have been a lot of fun to just experiment in my sketch... Like, I, I'm almost done the sketchbook, actually, and I can't wait to do a little tour for y'all. We can talk about things. Like, I know there's gonna be two pages I'm gonna not show. Uh, only because it could dox me. <laughs> so I'm like, hmm, let's make sure those are covered. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, I'll just say that now. There's going to be a few pages I will not show because it either has notes or uh, a scenery. Like, after finding out how crazy people can get on the internet, where they would, like, you know, like, psychoanalyze it. Oh, they're in this hotel room streaming right now because this was the only place that uses these sheets and then docks them. Like, that's insane. So <laughs> as well as things were like, you know, just to be safe, we'll oh, show those pages. It was just me doing like, a, you know, sketching out like a background or whatever. So yeah, I was just practicing, of course. But yeah, that sketchbooks for you. They're great for practicing. And I think uh, honing your techniques is very important. I have to admit, I felt the whole time I was doing this, I was like, oh, some ink on the other side. Cause you see at the page there where it got dark there. Yet, I guess ink transferred off my wrist <laughs> because I didn't realize I was rubbing it all over the thing. And I was like, oh, yeah, crap. <laughs> Watercolor. Right. <laughs> the Dio, I did finish, but it's crazy to see that the water's still spreading on that uh, cold press stuff. I didn't really, and this is where the outline really became like a mess because of that. So again, regretty spaghetti. Next time, use the India ink because it's waterproof, and they and let everything just dry 24 hours before you apply anything else on top. That's that's my pro tip that I learned with this. Uh, sketching in a sketchbook is fun though, and again, I this wasn't supposed to be a work of art. This was supposed to be a practice thing, and that's what you use your sketchbooks for, you know. Just don't let them sit blank. Doodle, scribble in them, just do patterns, whatever you want. You know what? Just do it. Now, of course, this artwork's almost done, and we're going to let the present edgy berserker talk to you more about this page. All right, actual real-time edgy talking now. Uh, we got the drawings done. Uh, it's a sketchbook. That's why I'm not too concerned about quality, because this was all about experimentation. Because I'm still trying to crack the code on these uh, clean color pens, actually. That's why they're not making this a watercolor talk yet. I kind of have an idea, but at the same time, I'm 
still trying to figure it out because they're very saturated colors as you can tell on Dio's side here. Um, now that said though with these uh, watercolor grounds, so this was the watercolor ground regular which was on this side. And then on this side was the, the Dio side was cold press as I showed in the intro but probably talked over badly. Um, this one's more smooth um, and I, hmm. It's more smooth. I've worked with this one a lot more though. That's the thing. I worked with this side more. This one, I'm still trying to get the hang of the grittiness, but yeah, and that's just practice, right? Because uh, on the back of this, anywhere where the ground wasn't touching is leaked through, but whatever. It's a sketchbook. I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> one thing I learned is that unless you're doing an aesthetic thing, it actually doesn't matter what the quality in your sketchbook is. Because on this one, like, I'm not too concerned because, what bam I was testing out watercolor ground again. This one with, like, the Daniel Smith black, which I actually like the finish of this one, but got to play around with the black more. This is actually the uh, cold press. I learned that, uh, especially with this one, I learned the pencil crayon leaks. <laughs> That's why I made sure to erase as much as I could so it wouldn't leak into the drawing too much. And again, with the cold press, I've had a lot of practice with that. Because this was actually uh, my uh, last year drawing of the year of 2022 and my first drawing of the year of 2023. This is all with the watercolor ground, the smooth stuff. This was done with my like really good watercolors. So this was done with my Daniel Smith and Holbeins. And this one was done with those um, peerless watercolor sheets that I got out of the uh, one my uh, unboxing video that I did the Chun-Li painting from. So, you know, it was just practice. And then I also learned, like, this was when I got the grit stuff. Um, oh, I tried. <laughs> I didn't quite get it yet. And then this one here was seeing how watercolor pencil crown works on it. Not great. <laughs> but the point is, though, we got these ones. I was checking out the zigs on it. Um, I, zigs bleed a lot on the, uh, on this, um, uh, the grittier stuff, the cold press ground. I feel like this, mm, I feel like I need to practice more with this one though, cause I think there's potential. There's potential because you saw that Majima sketch. I think, uh, I think it'll work. I think it'll work. This stuff though, um, the smooth stuff, I'm getting a lot of the hang of. Yeah, and it's the, uh, what is it, cold, cold? Q-O-R, watercolor core. Core? Sure. I want to check out, though, the other ones, because I know a lot of people were saying that the core was the better one. But then on here, I actually like the finish of the dang Smith stuff, so I don't know. But that's the, the Mars Black. It was also on sale. I got it for, like, <laughs> very cheap, actually. <laughs> so, yeah. You know what? This is, like, what sketchbooks are for, though. The sketchbook's almost done. I'll probably do a full tour of it soon. And yeah, it, these, the, the, this is what you use your sketchbook for. Like, I mean, there's no right way to use it. If you want to do your aesthetic sketchbook, hell yeah, do your aesthetic sketchbook. If you want to do your, uh, you know, uh, your, uh, what is it? Your, like, only good drawing skills in the sketchbook, do that. But if you also have, like, well, I got this, like, little notepad, which is actually meant for writing, but I just want to draw on it just for funsies do it. There's no wrong way to do a sketchbook. If you want to do aesthetic with doodles, heck yeah, do it. Just as long as you use the paper and get your creativity down. Heck, I got some like, oh, I, I'll do a tour of it. But there's one in there where I actually have like a thing scribbled out and wrote drawing bad. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's still in there though. It's still in there to view. And uh, I gotta say, I've been enjoying uh, filling up this book. I started in um, September, I want to say. Yeah, about September when I started filling this up. And I, you know, some months have more artwork than other months. So it just depends on how much drawings you get done. Point is though, with sketchbooks, just have fun. Experiment, that's what I did here. And I also learned that these uh, watercolor grounds are really good on thin paper. <laughs> and it gave me an idea of like, uh, you know, like say if I have that sketchbook that has like some bad pages, I'm like, ooh, I really don't like these drawings. 
just slap that stuff over top and then just make a new drawing out of it. Why not? <laughs> Anyways, though, everyone, I hope this was motivating in some way. Um, it was nice to actually experiment with the Zig uh, clean colors. Uh, again, I got the set, the skin set, uh, recently. So I was like, oh, let's do something with them because I do like these. And if you're wondering, how did you get the, all these? Uh, fun fact. All of these single ones I bought because the art store that was going out of business was like selling them off for mega cheap. And uh, I managed to get like most of the full set of the full saturated colors. That's why my colors are so bright. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I want to practice more with these. Because I feel like there, there's a lot of potential. Either way though, everyone, this is Edgy Berserker signing off on a quick video, but still, you know. Like, at least I got a video out. <laughs> Until next time, we'll do something more in depth. Um, I think I have an idea. We're, I think we might do another pencil crown talk soon, actually. Because uh, I got some cheapo ones I want to talk about. Alright, until next time. See y'all later. Bye now.